design is the process by which a concept assumes form. It is how that which is simply a notion becomes real. Design gives an automobile its identity, a dress its sachet, a building its structure. Design is the language that describes every product we touch, from the jewelry we wear to the furniture upon which we sit. Design gives focus to our art and order to our entertainment. Design, in its many streams and disciplines, is what this program is all about. Here are just a few of the people we will meet in Season 1 of Eyes on Design. Michael Graves is arguably America's preeminent architect and a prolific and diversified designer. Graves has been at the forefront of architectural design since he founded his practice in Princeton, New Jersey in 1964. Graves has dubbed himself a general practitioner, designing not only the interiors for the majority of his projects, but also a wide range of furnishings and artifacts, from furniture and lighting fixtures to jewelry and dinnerware. He has teamed with Target stores to bring his signature style of design to a larger public in a wide variety of product categories. Well, somebody like me, uh, I'm, I've become in the visual world a kind of visual savant, if you will. I look and record in my mind everything that I care about. I look at combinations, I look at things that are unexpected, I look at all kinds of stuff. And all of that serves me very well. Sid Mead is the groundbreaking industrial designer who is best known for his art design in science fiction films like Blade Runner, Aliens, and Tron. Sid is the original visual futurist and over the course of his 55-year career has developed deep expertise in virtually every design stream. I like the tactile feeling of real paint on illustration board. It's old school. I tell people what I do is, is put paint on cardboard with animal hairs on the end of a stick. Philip Burke is an internationally renowned artist whose arresting caricatures expose both his subject's inner persona and his own inimitable vision. Burke's use of vivid colors, sparing brush strokes and sharp lines sets him apart from all other contemporary artists. I just found that I was like really drawn to caricature. It sounds trite, but the, I almost compare it to an addiction. I just couldn't get enough of it, and I just kept wanting to get back to that place where I was doing the stretching. What is the formula for creativity? What mixture of inspiration and perspiration yields innovation and beauty? Eyes on design holds focus on the creative mind, revealing a fresh perspective of the creative process. You know, uh, Hugh Dupree, who started uh, Herman Miller, made a great statement. He said, the essence of the creative act is to see the familiar as strange. And I think most of us in, in the world of uh, automobile design look at the way things are right now and we're quite impatient with it. I became a doorknob or a switch. I became one. So I'm sitting on a wall, <laughs> you know, just like you're waiting for the finger to come into your switch. I tell myself, hubris kills. It's deadly. So you have to get a little bit scared and pretend that you really don't know what you should do at all. And this keeps you sort of, you know, on dancing over your possibilities. A scheme is never produced on the back of an envelope for any good architect. There are architects that are well known that brag about that kind of thing. Oh, I did it on the commuter plane back from Washington. I just drew it, and there it is. It doesn't work that way. It's, our architecture, like literature, is hard, hard, hard. I would say 90% of the drawing that I do is tedious, hard work. Like some of these studies, I have to do at least one straight study that takes three or four hours to really, it doesn't matter what angle it's from then I know I've got the person 
in my head. That is no fun at all. But what happens after that is a lot of fun. In addition to insightful interviews with many of today's top designers, Eyes on Design looks at some of today's top designs. Eyes on Design is watching for and showing you the freshest new designs. Eyes on Design has a clear vision to educate, to entertain, and to inspire. Watch for Eyes on Design coming to your local PBS station in the winter of 2008.